Hey there, Hellcat5 here. I'm getting into the next message. <laughs> the next message that I get sent. No. Um, I'll have to read that in a minute. I'm going to cover the object window character tree this time. I've covered actors and audio so far. I'm going to cover them all. One, two, three, four, five, six left. This is the character association type. Uh, don't see anything there. It's anything classes either. It's probably because I don't have anything loaded. Hey, look at that. No, I don't. Let's load stuff. Hey, loading, loading, loading. Look at it load. This takes forever. I don't know if I'm actually going to make you sit through watching all the loading. Hey, loading, look, loading files. 55% Skyrim ESM. It's like master file thing. Yes. It just stops and sits at 55 and then goes to like done and doing other things. Usually, something like that. La 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 la. Yeah, I'm not gonna make you sit through it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. So the magic of the pause button. I now have everything loaded. <laughs> Neat. Okay. So character tree association types. The association types have to do with relationships. These are actually the different uh, types of relationships that uh, NPCs can have in Skyrim. Got the aunt uncle relationship, boss employee, business par partners, conspirators, courting cousins, favorite target means they like somebody or they, I don't know, somebody, grand aunt uncle, grandparent, grandchild, great grandparent, great grandchild, in law, aunt uncle, in law, brother, blah blah blah, Jarl, house carl. Jarl, steward, master, assistant, parent, child, siblings, spouse. Yes. Those are all those things. Look, it's pretty simple. You got parent labels, male or female, child labels. No, it's not marrying a child. That's gross. Uh, parent labels of like you know this is one person going to be related to the next person, which is the husband or wife, depending on if this top part is the husband or wife. Yeah, it's calling it a parent because the other little branch to the other label comes off of its technical stuff that makes no sense, really. <coughs> no, it does, but just not in this context. So, you've got the player character that is the husband, or the wife, and, well, if the player character is the female, then it's going to obviously have the male husband. Maybe Skyrim allows for different things, like two wives being married to each other. Family association. See, it says that. <coughs> Siblings, same thing. Parent-child, obviously. Assistants and masters. There's no family association there. Steward and Jarls, obviously. So you get it. They're pretty simple. If there's anything else you can possibly come up with that you might want an association type for, uh, make it. I don't know what it could be or why you'd want one, a new one, but they're all there. Uh, aunt, uncles, grand aunt, grand nephew, grand niece, blah, blah. It's association types. Pretty simple. Classes. These get into the different types of characters that you can play. Uh, it's actually certain definitions for the NPC characters. Um, like the, that's actually a test class. Bard, <coughs> anything with the triple A's. Kind of a test class thing that they do, T test class, whatever it is. So we have the bard, we got, you know, obviously the class name is bard, health, attribute, weights, health, two, stamina, two, magic, three, they're going to have more magicka. It says what skills they're going to have one handed archery, pickpocketing, illusion, alteration, speech. Of course, the bard's going to be able to speech, uh, going to be able to speech, that's funny. Going to be able to talk well. To other people, because they're going to recite things. Auto calc other recharge training. I don't know what that is. But anyway, voice points. I have no clue what that means. Recharge training. Blah blah blah. Do do. Okay. And we've seen this one. I'm going to show you in comparison. Say the beggar. We've got different weights here for the attributes. It's got different skill weights, settings, different bleed out. Default. No different voice points. I don't know what that's for. Yeah, that's for let's see, drugger. Does do we have a drugger class or something? Or if there's 
That's got something to do with shouting. Dragon Priest. Encounter. Dragon. Drugger Magic. Here we go. No voice points. Hmm. What about Drugger Melee? No voice points. No voice points. Dragon Priest? Nope. That's interesting. Dragon Priest has no. Yeah, default. <coughs> okay, whatever. So, I have no clue what the voice types are. I'm sure there's somewhere in one of these is the answer. Two voice points. I don't know what. It doesn't exactly change. When I change this, I have to press enter to pull up a different one. So, those are the different class definitions. They have to do with your health balancing skills, etc. for the NPCs. If you want to make a new class, they're probably already created. I don't think you can come up with any other classes than what they've already come up with with all these cross combinations. It's really complicated and I'm talking really fast. Are you keeping up? Okay, I hope so. Now we're going to go on to the equip slots. <coughs> we have both hands, left and right. Use all parents. Either hand is not using all parents obviously left hand is going to just be left hand potion is going to be potion right hand obviously shield and voice it's just voice I wonder what happens here uh, is that just a slot because it's just another slot I can do new or delete, yeah. It's probably just, you know, right hand. Okay. <coughs> so this is the equipment equipment slots. Both hands, either hand, left hand, potions, right hand, shield voice. Factions, these are important. All this stuff's important in some way. Let's see here, let's go to Bard. No request faction. Bard Singer Faction, that's important. Bard No Auto Start. That's probably interesting too. Bard Singer Faction. These are the people who sing. Lisette. That's the one in Solitude. <coughs> Ranks, Crime. They don't track crime. Vendor, at least not from the Bard Singer Faction anyway. These are just the people that are all in the Bard Singer Factions. Has to do with certain groupings. You know, if you want to make a new bard, you're going to have to add it to the bard singer faction. You have to add it in. It's just totally important. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Yes, yes. Gotta have it. Let's see what the no auto start is. There's only two that are no auto start. Karita and Jorn. I don't know what those are for. Anyway. So. Do, do, do. Okay. But anyway, we have uh, for the factions, we have ID, the name, if there's going to be one. Probably isn't going to be. Uh, ranks, if there are ranks in the faction, uh, how they track crime, if they do. Uh, ignoring crimes against non members. Vendor, you can be a vendor, this is how you start the vendor thing and what they. all that stuff. It's all off the factions. Let's see here, what else we have? <coughs> Blades faction. Let's have a look at that. Two. Delphine and Esbern. Not a whole lot there. Let's see if there's a player. I'm sure there's player factions in here. Player. Player faction. Yes, all kinds of stuff. Can be owner, current follower faction, current hireling. It's interesting you can own all these interfaction relations. This depends on like you know how your player sees other people or other factions anyway. Player enemy special combat, it's an enemy, go figure. This is how you set up your you know who's gonna fight who. You set up their factions, and the factions fight against each other. It's not set at an NPC level, it's set at a faction level. So you want to make sure that your NPCs have the correct factions so they they will beat up each other if you create new ones. Kind of important, yeah. And this tells you like who's a member, who has that listing for whatever faction you're in. Again, ranks, crimes, I've already talked about that. And the vendor stuff. I don't know if there's a vendor particular one. Player horse faction. Meh. 
Obviously, he's an ally to the player faction if he's the horsey, because you ride the horsey. House Carl, same thing. There's only a few House Carls. Ranks, crime, major, they do. Do not report crimes against members. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess that means he won't tell on me. Married. Married is an ally. Go figure. Huh. Apparently the wives will tell on you, but the house girls won't. <laughs> well. Oh, time for pause. Do to do. Yeah. So, do you want to have a look at all these? Hey, look, it's a vendor. Let's have a look at the vendor thing here. Can be owner. Vendor. Vendor hour is start at 8, end at 8. Radius 0, vendor item spells. You select that and they sell that stuff. Kind of simple, isn't it? Merchant container. Hmm. That's where they keep their stuff, I guess. Riften Mist Veil Keep Reference Blah. Kind of tells you. It's pretty simple. Crime, ranks, general. There's nobody else there. It's one person. So I'm guessing each person that sells something has one particular faction set up since they can sell stuff. Solitude Stables. Looks like it. Yep. It's ends at 11 o'clock. Constantly sells horses. Awesome. Hmm. Okay then. So yeah, we have all that. East Empire Trading Company. That's... That's... That's one step wrong. Sir gives the cow to the giant. They are both permanently added to this faction. All giants player friend faction. Oh, so if you give a cow to the giant, you become its friend. Neato! It's kind of interesting. Yes, add them both to that. The wolf faction. All the different wolves are friends, go figure. Prisoner, werewolf, vampire, or friends to werewolves, thralls, friends, friends, wolf faction, yay. Ranks, crime, enter. So, there you have it, that's faction. Let's go to head parts. <coughs> yeah. Whoa, that seems weird. So this actually has to do with getting your NIF creation into the game, basically. Your mesh parts that you create, uh, that you want to bring in. It's going to have to deal with, let's see here, let's go with... Do we have... Khajiit, mail. So head parts. I'm looking. I don't know if there's a Falmer. Let's see. Is there a Falmer in there? Nope. No Falmer. Okay. So it's probably just one big, huge model. Whereas these are little pieces. Again, they just have the ID, the name of what they are. This is hairline, male Nord, male playable, valid races, head parts, humans and vampires, texture set none, type miscellaneous, and it's going to be that particular thing there but I don't have these unpacked so they're still packed and can't look at them it is an extra part uh, except a race morph character gen morph these have to do with again like I said bringing in different pieces that you want to from uh, doing meshes on your own or whatever you have to add in head parts if you want to have custom if you want to add custom stuff okay now we get to movement types I have uh, the Flame Atronox default movement. The walk gives you a walk speed. It gives you the run speed, how fast they run. Right, left, right, this is going to be their legs, I'm guessing. Forward, back, oh no, that's movement, left and right, sorry. Left, right, forward, back, rotating in place, spinning in the circle. Uh, rotating while moving is the same. Animation change thresholds, if you have those, this basically sets just how fast it moves the model around. Cows, cow swim. Cows swim forward very slowly. They rotate in place very slowly, but apparently they can run pretty fast. I don't know how they can run fast in the water, but... Yep. 
Cal default. That looks about the same as ever backwards. Cows are pretty slow, except for when they're running forward. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Moo! There is no cow level. Yeah, pretty simple. So if you want to make something go really, really fast, you can have the run be like uh, 50,000 or 5,000, and you'll run across the map in no time. Kind of boring, but anyway. Okay, the infamous packages. I haven't really got into explaining how packages work, but they're really simple, I say, anyway. This is a package template type. It's called Acquire. You have a couple different things. You can do a package or package template. That means that you're going to take this as base values for another actual package. You've got the you know, search locations, target criteria, the type, the values, public situations, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Allow pickpocketing, yes, no, false travel, upside down. All these different things you would set <coughs> here. I'll get into more detail on packages in another video, I'm sure. Hey! Must complete once per day, always sneak, allow swimming. You got all these different things and how to look. I mean, you got typical conditions, you know, new, blah, whatever you want the condition to be, like a particular character or something. Or a particular location. If you want to change combat style. And those are all different things you can do with the package. <coughs> Have a look at them. You assign them to different players. You can get them to do different things according to whatever you want to do. Let's see if I can find something that's not a package template. Yeah, there's an actual package. See? Public, pack public package data. And it gives you all that information right there. This is the different things you can set. You can just set new. This won't let you set new things because it's not a template. You actually have to have it be a template to set new things on it. Okay? Yes, it's important. And if there's an owning quest to the package, that's something good to associate too. You get more things here when you get into this. You get into schedule, beginning and end, and idles. So you have to have a package template before you can actually build the package if you want to have something different than what's already in there. It's important. Um, get into something, I think. Scroll down here. Let's see if there's. I'm sure there's bard packages here somewhere. Let's see here. Bard. Bard, bard, bard. Bard, bard. Song spot stay. Here we go. That's when they're standing there in one place, singing, la la la, this is the package that controls that. You're going to travel nowhere, you're not going to ride a horse, and you're not going to use the preferred path, because you're going to stand still and do nothing. That's also why it says package template right here, is travel, because you're going nowhere. These are flags that are associated, conditions. Current follower faction, quests, bard songs, comma playing. That's important. Keyword, bard play spot. Actor, Lurbook. So this is something particular for Lurbook. Has to not be Lurbook. La la la. Okay, so we don't want him to be Lurbook, obviously. He's something special. He doesn't get the bard song, bard spot stay package. Close that. Bard song, bard spot, travel. I guess they move around in circles or something. Not very far. So that's that. <coughs> Conditions. Lindley, I don't know who that is. Apparently, Lindley can't move. Begin and change idols and schedule. Is anything. So. That's kind of a rough overview of packages. Now let's go to quests under character. This is very important. Let's get into the quest part here. Achievements quests is kind of interesting. People are like, what? Achievements quest? Yes. It doesn't exactly show you a whole lot, does it? Blah, blah. Any dialogue views? No. Player dialogue? Bet not. Come on. Nope. Favor. Um, 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 nope. Scenes? Any scenes? No. Combat? No combat. 
uh, favors. Let's see if there's any of these. Probably not. Detection. So we don't know what achievements quest is, except that it's probably started at the very start of the beginning. Uh, start at the beginning of the game. Yes, let's say the same thing two different ways, because we always do that. Hey, we got an achievement script. That's kind of neat. Properties, chopped wood, cooked wood, work done, mine door, yay. So this quest really only holds this script. And I'm going to edit source because I changed my properties. So this shows you this. This is, I guess, how you get your different achievements. Yay! It tracks your achievements. There's nothing else in this quest except for this script that's extending this quest. That's it. There are other quests that have just audio, like this one. Miscellaneous. Most of your greetings, hellos, goodbyes, I'm selling tomatoes, all those things happen in miscellaneous. They are on quests that don't necessarily have anything else. Um, yeah, they're not going to be quest stages, objects, aliases. There's just going to be lines like this one. You know, Alduin's wings, blah, 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 tomatoes and stuff. They did dark in the sky, his roar, his roar, furious fire, and his scales sharpened skies. I think it goes, Alduin's wings, they did dark in the sky, his roar, furious fire, and his scales sharpened skies. I don't know, anyway. Can't see the bottom of it because it's way down there somewhere. Oh, sweet. It's off the screen, so I can't show it to you because it's hiding way over there on the other monitor that I don't have hooked up. So I'm going to have to close the entire creation kit and open it back up again. Do, do, do. Okay, quests. So, still, anyway. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see if I can find one. There's somewhere in here. Dialogue. Let's look at um, Draugr Dialogue. We see that there is a quest data. It's going to start with the game enabled because it's going to be constantly available to all the Draugrs. It says make sure that there are Draugrs. The voice type for that particular NPC is Draugr. That's how it checks. It checks that NPC. Okay. It checks that, so you want to be sure to set your voice types when you're creating an NPC because if you're going to use you know, one of these dialogue things set up like this, that's how it works. These are all your hellos and things. There are no quest stages, no quest objects, no quest aliases. It's all based on, is this the right voice type? That's when the NPC will work. It's not going to be in a player dialogue, even though it's going to pretend like it's going to show me something. It's not. There's no favorite dialogue either, or scenes. Come on. Click, clickety click. Favors, nothing. It's going to be all under miscellaneous. Same thing. No combat, because there's no combat here, I bet. Oh, no, we have two different sounds. This, this is a good example. I'll show you this. Conditions, of course, is you're going to make sure that it's the Draugr for the voice tab. <coughs> the little R. Resp, respawn, I guess. What's there? I have no clue what's there. E something or other. Oh, editor ID. Oh. And the info, the we have hit and we have death. So those are the two things. And this opens this, and then we have this voice tag. It says response text. Apparently, there's no response. And I bet that's probably going to be something that's off on the screen again. Yeah, it's not there. It's not on this screen. It's on the one that I don't have hooked up. So I'm going to have to close it again. But anyway, that was to actually show you the little menu thing that would have the Draugr information, and you where you could click the wave play, but it's not going to have it anyway because it's not uncompressed. It's still in the compressed main file. Okay, back here again. <coughs> this time I'm not going to try to show you the next layer. But anyway, that's your basic idea of the quest setups. You're going to have certain things, certain quests that are only containing dialogues uh, that you can hook up to your different creatures. Um, I do want to show you one more thing. Go back to creatures here. Dialogue. I was at the Draugr. Get down here to miscellaneous. Do, do, do. 
There's not anything here this time. So this one only refers to combat situations. The Drucker doesn't say anything to anybody else. He only fights. And that's it. Makes stupid noises. La 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 la. Go figure. It's a Drucker. But say that you have different uh, no, no, people. So we can find some default default dialogue. Here we go. Dialogue. Dialogue sit in the mine. No dialogue. Agnes Mill. Sure, why not? Let's do Agnes. Not literally. Good thing I got. Here's the view. Tells you a few little things because this is related to this particular person only. And then you've got. See, is there any combat? Combat setups? Nope. Miscellaneous. Might have some miscellaneous stuff here. Greetings. Here we go. You have the different greetings and stuff here. Speaker. Tells who it is. The conditions. If you're going to say something to somebody else, this is where you put it. Strangers are always trouble. If you don't need to talk to you, get lost. This is Coder saying this. So Coder at Agnes's mill says these things when he's wandering around and you walk up to him. It's not actually engaging him directly in conversation, but these are things that they say. <coughs> um, hmm. No services, no detection. I'm guessing probably not. I guess it's things they say when they find you sneaking. Somebody has to say that somewhere. There you are! Oh, no. But yeah, combat. There's not going to be any. Sorry, I showed you that. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Close. No, I don't want that. Dialogue. Hey, there's Dialogue Drugger. It's another one. Let's see if there's any miscellaneous stuff here. I don't know what the creature dialogue drugger is for. There's a difference for some reason. Service. Maybe there are two different types of drugger that they wanted to find with different sounds through two different quests. Ah, yes, these are the ones that scream things at you. Fuzz, pock, dinog, whatever they say. It's weird words. When they attack you and beat you up, but I'm not gonna click on one of those because it'll cause crashes and stuff. Again, because I don't have another monitor hooked up right now. Close. Dremora. Somebody asked me about Dremora. There's that thing. There's the combat tab. It should have like for the motherland. Ra, oblivion, take you. Fall before me. You will bleed. Grrr. Let's see where are the other ones like. Uh, there are some other ones. I don't know where they got them at. Service, maybe? Maybe, maybe. Oh, detection. I will fight for you. Here we go. Now you suffer. You return, foolish mortal. That's in detection. See, that's what we need right there. I smell weakness. Challengers near. You almost hear these say these things. It's in detection when they. Find somebody that they're going to beat up. You cannot escape me. Hiding will not save you now. <laughs> yes, pretty interesting. There could be no other end. You meet your end, mortal. Another who seeks death. We've heard all these probably somewhere, if you have conjuration anyway. Or, you know, other Dremoras running around killing things. Ta-da! Okay. So that's your basic overview of dialogues. Well, not dialogues, but quests. Quests contain dialogues. Let's go to race. Race. Let's go to Helmer because I like to Helmer. Now this is the race page. We have quite a few little tabs across the top here. They get different skill bonuses depending on what they are. Um, I don't know what these are because there's only two skills there. Tilt front, back, left, right, no shadow, spells align with magic node, use world recast for foot IK, I don't know what IK is. Uh, allow PC dialogue. You check that if you want, if you create a new race, which I have a video on, it's called, you know, creating new races or something. Um, 
it'll allow PC dialogue. It'll uh, enable the PC you to talk to this particular race. You can't knock it down. Blah blah. You know, just read these things. Immortal or immobile walks, swims, flies. Check that if you want to fly around. Avoids road. Not pushable. No combat in the water. How big they are. All these different basic. These are base things that you set for the race. Some body data for it. The general body information. Template stuff for the actors, basically. So, and then we go into blood and text data. A few different things here. The impact data. Open, corpse, close. Different sounds it makes. Move data. There's not much here in text data except for name. Description. There might be one. Depending on what it is. Move data, acceleration rate, deceleration, angular, blah blah. Gives you all this information. Attack data, combat. This is all kind of like basic stuff that you set for the different actors, because the actors are the individual individual instances of the races. That's like Frank versus Caucasians, I guess. So that is the races. You must have race when you want to make something new. There's all kinds of other stuff you have set too. But that, I covered that in my making new race video. Relationships are pretty simple. Next one down. The relationship is the ID, the parent NPC, the child NPC. That's like it's not literal. It's you know this is the one, and it's going to have this relationship to Everett Sand. The relationship type is friend. And these are the different things here. They have like arch nemesis, evil foe, rival, acquaintance, friend, confident, ally, and lover. And the association type, aunt, uncle, blah, blah, blah. These are the other things. And if it's secret or not, it's pretty simple. Just governs the relationship types. So this one's got the association type right there. It's the spouse. Okay. Now this is the story manager event node. This is off of character. Kind of an interesting thing that's off character instead of somewhere else. But this is where it is. All the stuff that you ever need are under change location event. Nothing else is in any of the other ones. It's just uh, event names really. So... Okay. Um, so... Yeah, the main thing is going to be the change location event. That's going to have everything underneath it that you need. I cover that in other videos. You know, watch them. They're called Story Manager. Boop! Make that go away. And then you have the voice types. This is the final thing here. Pretty simple. You have a voice type. It's you set whatever uh, male, female here, and allow default dialogue or not. And that's it. What happens is that it takes that voice type and makes a directory for it when you're recording the voiceovers um, through the CK. And that's under your different NPCs as you're doing it. Well, not the NPCs, but the quest dialogue parts. That's how it works. That is the last part under the character tree. This is Hellcat5, over and out, and subscribe, like, and all that other fun stuff. Yes. I don't know, eat pizza or something. Watch a movie. Yes. Bye.